Mortal Kombat 4 is played in a similar way to the previous titles from the series. The run button and combos are still used, and despite the 3D graphics, characters are restricted to a 2D path except of sidestepping. MK4 introduces a limited weapon system, allowing each character to take out a special weapon using a set button combination. Once equipped, the weapons are primarily used through the punch buttons. This includes swinging, clubbing, or even tossing the weapons. The weapons can also be purposely dropped, in similar fashion to arena objects such as severed heads and rocks, another addition to the series. If an opponent's weapon is dropped, the other character is able to pick it up and use it. MK4 added a maximum damage cap to the game's combo system, automatically breaking combos if they deal over a set amount of damage to a player and thus preventing infinite combos, although this cap can be removed with a code. Unlike Mortal Kombat Trilogy which contained multiple finishing moves of various kinds, Mortal Kombat 4 has the standard two fatalities per character. In addition to two stage fatalities that can only be done in certain arenas and involve the winning character throwing their opponent into a part of the arena where they are killed. Unlike the first three games, this game does not include non-playable boss characters, except for Guro in the home versions. Reception Upon the start of the arcade's road tour, news programs commented on the violence from the game and expressed concern on how it would affect the players' personalities. Ed Boon replied that there were already games more violent than Mortal Kombat 4, which was only the most popular of the violent games and therefore the most prominent.